Absolutely hopeless fishing session that was. So, started off trawling for ages. I, I tried the soft plastics, I tried the bait. There's no fish at all. Even when I went for a quick spear, didn't even see a single fish. But I suppose that's how it is sometimes with fishing. But this episode is not about fishing actually. It's to test the Mark II boat tent. That's what we're here for. So it's a solo lipstick session this episode and I want to test out the recently built Mark II boat tent. Conditions today have been absolutely perfect. There's no wind, it's into the afternoon now, so I'm soon gonna have to find somewhere to, uh, to, to moor up for tonight. Now I was really hoping to do a catch and cook episode from the trawling. So me and the butler were out a couple of weeks ago, first time we've done trawling, and within a few minutes we'd got a bonito, so we we're pretty happy with that. So I was thinking it was gonna be easy again this morning went up and down into about sort of 30 meters of water but nothing not a sniff um, so doesn't look like there'll be a catch and cook today so we'll have to do the emergency food unfortunately um, i am going to have a couple more sessions fishing though so you never know but i don't know like i said this episode's all about testing out the the new boat tent so i've just been back to the boat ramp to swap over the spearing gear for the camping gear and that is really just to give me more room on the boat tonight for the boat camping. specky spot but I don't think there's any more to check this out. Yeah 
How good is that? Oh no, I think there is. There's one right down the bottom there. I might go get grab that. So that was an absolutely stunning spot, but I've decided not to camp there tonight. I had to tear myself away, but the reason being, there's only about an hour before the sun's gonna duck down behind that mountain, then it's gonna get cold pretty quickly being winter. So I think this is a summer spot. I'm definitely gonna come back there because that is an epic place to camp, but I'm gonna try and look for somewhere where it's got a bit more sort of westerly aspect so that I get a bit more sunshine before it cools down. switch off show you around yeah pretty good pretty good spot got some sunshine as well it's gonna dip down but the first place that would have been long gone by now Oh mate, it doesn't get much better than this. Once the sun goes down, I'll get up the boat tent and we'll have a look around. Oh, it's Taylor. Oh, he's gone. Another tail there. Oh no. Looks right. Probably shouldn't have undersized that thing. Eh? So the sun's just about to disappear behind that hillside. It's already starting to get chilly, so we're gonna have to bust the clothes out. No more fish, but I've got a few more, a few more prawns left, so I am going to try again. I'm just going to wait for the, for the sun to go down. I'll get the other camera out and we'll watch the sunset. So here we are in the Mark II boat tent. It's all set up. It's looking nice, I can tell you it's a damn sight warmer now. Now we've got the hoochie up, it's really good. So usually I set this up before I go, so I get it all set up, get the ropes right, get, get the tension right, and then pack it down in the garage. And yesterday I, I realized actually there's an issue with this. Let's have a look. Oh, I didn't think of that, did I? How's that gonna work?
right moment of truth. Oh, nice. So that's it, the new mooring light. Yeah, it's working really good. Yeah, it's a good job I thought about that because you really want a mooring light when you're doing this type of thing. You don't want to be sort of boat camping in the pitch black without a light. D definitely when there's boats sort of hooning about in the dark. So we're good now. The sides are all down. This is the boat tent. Looking really good. I'd like to have the butler with me, but it is, there's so much more room with one person, it's great. So it's much more comfortable. So yeah, the butler's got a couple of mates over for a sleepover tonight, so he didn't want to come. But I just wanted to get this tested. I, we're not expecting any rain tonight, but you never know. But yeah, it's just, it's so much warmer already though. This is a game changer. So yeah, mark two of the boat tent. So I thought I'd got the place to myself. There's three moorings here. I rocked up and then two other boats sort of turned up after me. They both left and then I was thinking I was awesome, I'm on my own. But since I've just got a new neighbour, so there is a new neighbour now in town over there. But look, that's what it is. It's a long weekend again. I seem to always do these on a long weekend. So even though it's quite cold, it's still busy out on the water. It's a good weekend, there's no wind. It's perfect sort of boating, camping type conditions. So it's no wonder there's other people out on the water as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill out now, have a few beers. I'll get the camera back out if there's anything interesting. It looks like a good sunset actually. I might just check that out because I can see some red through. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have the drone up now actually. This type of thing, check that out. How good is that? Yeah, this is sick. Anyone that's got a boat, highly recommend boat camping. Yeah, boat camping's where it's at. Well, good morning from inside the boat tent. I'm really, really happy with it. It worked really well. It didn't rain, so I haven't really tested those sides, but I'm sure they'll work pretty good. If it did, it's all sealed nicely. Really warm, so I didn't have any problem being cold, although I do have a fairly good sleeping bag. I don't have much plans for today. It's a public holiday. I'm just gonna wait for the hoochie to, just to get the, the dew off, to dry off. Just gonna chill out, read the book, have some breakfast. Not sure about fishing. Fishing's been pretty hopeless uh, on this trip. The only other addition I might make to it is a mozzie net. The last time I came with the butler, he got absolutely nailed with mozzies. They don't seem to affect me too much, so I didn't, but I think Mark III could incorporate some kind of mozzie net and maybe some kind of door at the, at the back there, but I'm not sure yet. But at the moment, this works really well. So Mark II will stay like this for a while and there may be a Mark III in the future. Wind's picked up quite a bit, which is good because I can now test the Velcro. So far, so good. It's also helped dry out the hoochie.
There's the boat tent away. All right, so we're all packed down, which means this is the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did enjoy it, if you could just give us a like, that would be great. It really helps with the algorithms, helps build the channel. So I'm now gonna make my way back to the boat ramp. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next episode where we'll be on our way up to Cape York.